Hey guys, so I am quite shocked that this is surfacing last minute here, but with the Model 3 Project Highland, we are going to be getting a little extra something that might just excite you guys a little bit more. Now, as we know, this version of the Model 3 dubbed the Highland is supposed to be simplifying the design of the overall vehicle, removing unnecessary parts that wouldn't affect customers too much. This is done to streamline the manufacturing process and makes it a lot better for Tesla in terms of margins and hopefully all that cost gets passed on to us as buyers. Theoretically, if this all works out and everything aligns perfectly, that we should be getting a much cheaper vehicle. However, that comes with a lot of different sacrifices. Now, if you guys have been following my channel, you guys already know that there are a lot of new changes coming to this Model 3 and it doesn't seem like we're sacrificing too much in terms of quality. We're going to be getting a lot of different things such as ambient lighting, all the display features, of the Model S and X. And on top of it, we are going to be getting a different exterior, interior, and a lot of the things will change to fall in line with some of their luxury segments. Now, I wasn't going to be adding this into the video, but because it just surfaced, might as well just do that. The Cybertruck has been confirmed with ambient lighting system, very similar to the leak from the Model 3 Highland. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, I'll drop it in the description below and right up top there where it shows the leaked parts and the door panel of the Highland vehicles. It looks exactly like the Cybertruck here and the ambient lighting strip is at the exact same spot as well. So what that means is with the sighting of the Cybertruck with the ambient lights turned on, we are going to be seeing the same system or the same setup for the Model 3 Project Highland as well. So yeah, very exciting stuff on that front. And for those of you guys that thought that the Model 3s or pretty much every Tesla is too dark when you're driving at night, this is going to be the feature that you really are looking for. All right, so let's get back to the topic here. The title of this video says that we are going to be getting a heads up display and that is possibly going to happen. An employee at Giga Shanghai has recently seen a prototype of the dashboard design that has a cutout for the heads up display. Display. Now, although this totally contradicts what we've seen in the last leak, this doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. In the last video that I made about the leak dashboard, there was no possibility of a heads up display. There was no cutout whatsoever. So any possibility of it happening with that design is just not there. Now with this recent sighting here, that possibly could still be. And it totally makes sense because the yoke is going to be coming to the Model 3 supposedly. And if it does, there is going to be some kind of visual right in front that it the wheel is going to obstruct. Now, this was mentioned by a person on Twitter. You guys probably know who he is. This is Xiao Tishushu, and he's been pretty credible with all the inside sources I've mentioned in a lot of my videos. He personally tweeted out saying that his sources saw the dashboard design with the cutout. But other than his words, there is nothing that we can really go by. There is no image. Images, there's no video, there is nothing. But if this does turn out to be true, this is one of those things that a lot of people are going to be making the switch from their old Model 3 to the new Model 3, and even those driving ICE cars are gonna be switching to the Model 3 just because they are missing out on that front display. Truth be told, the biggest reason why my family hasn't fully switched over to Teslas just yet is because the S and X is too expensive, but the 3 and Y, which fits perfectly in their range, it doesn't have a display in the front. I know it doesn't take that much to get used to. However, people have gotten accustomed to viewing something right in their line of sight. And that means a heads up display is going to fix all the issues. And a lot of people are going to be making the switch if this eventually comes true. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to say there are a lot of aftermarket HUDs available for the threes and whys. Uh, but my family typically does not like to modify their cars. They want as OEM as possible. So whatever it comes with is what it's going to be. I'm sure this is the same case for a lot of people as well. They're not willing to buy these aftermarket parts and install it on their vehicles. So yeah, although this could possibly happen, I still have my doubts in a way. I don't think it's going to happen for some of these reasons below. First, Elon said that HUD was not going to be coming to the Model 3, but this was six years ago during the unveiling of the Model 3. Things could change down the line. Second, this totally complicates
complicates the manufacturing process and it actually goes against what the Highland was supposed to do. And finally, we've already seen what the finalized design of the dashboard looks like and it doesn't seem like it has a cutout for the HUD. The only thing I'm unclear about is which leak came out first, the dashboard design without or the one with the heads up display. If the one with the heads up display came after, then there still is a possibility. But if it is the opposite, then that means that things have been finalized up to this point. Now on the flip side of everything, if you guys compare it to any of the EVs in China and a lot of ICE vehicles and even EVs in North America, Tesla is actually falling behind in terms of interior premiumness and features. Literally every car that's available right now, including the newly VinFast, do have a heads up display included with their front instrument cluster. So that ultimately means that Tesla is pushed to get some premium features in their newer vehicles. This will take away a lot of customers from competitors and bring them back to this performance segment here. So yeah, who knows what this all means. They're all just leaks right now, but if Tesla really wants to stay competitive, competitive, they're going to be needing to add some exclusive features to the Model 3. Anyways, I am still pretty shocked that all this information is coming out so last minute knowing that the Model 3 Highland is going to be announced in the next weeks or so. So I will keep you guys informed as much as possible. Just make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and at the same time, if you guys haven't already done so, Follow me on X at HeyJohnE. This is where I'll be sharing some information outside of YouTube. Anyways, this should be it for this video. This is John once again. Peace out.